Shalom, giving all praise to you. How about Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Kodesh? And Shalom to the hopefully elect out there. I'm going to entitle this video Finland Joins NATO. Prophecies Coming to Pass. And I would like to say a few words on Dr. Brown because his name been coming up a lot. Actually concerning um, the Edomites, he said some things about these guys are calling us Edomites, white Edomites. We don't call people white Edomites. So he, he really doesn't listen to us. When we say Edom, we call them red. We never call Edomites white. white. We call them red. And he acts like, or maybe he just, does, maybe he just doesn't know. You know, he's, he's, he's group of people call it Edomites. Now, either he's acting and playing like he doesn't know or he just doesn't know. Either way, he's not on our level. And, you know, when these guys like Vocab Malone and Dr. Brown and others, James White, they're not equipped to deal with us because they don't know anything about the Edomites. Anyway, let me get into this. And then I'm going to bring up a video that the, um, the elder out of uh, Las Vegas um, Karatazar Karatiz had put up and I saw a, a bit of it because I had to leave out uh, the house but anyway um, I'm here right now but this is prophecy more prophecy being fulfilled the two opposing uh, nations the two, two opposing kingdoms coming together if Satan be divided against Satan how can that kingdom stand so you have Russia, you have the BRIC nations, and you have Finland. And you know I'm going to go to Daniel 2. And um, let's see where else the spirit takes me. But that's the main precept that comes to mind. I don't know how long I'm going to be with this. I, I may, may be a short one. And I'll most likely come back, come back with something else. But let's see where the spirit takes me. So it says here, it says uh, CNN. Okay, is this under news? Okay, this was under all. Okay, let me go to news. So this is as of one hour ago. Finland joins NATO, a major blow to Russia over Ukraine war. Now, the Ukraine wanted to put in the they'll put in an application to join the NATO and um, you can see they're not allowing them to join and there's a reason behind that because as the very minute that the U Ukraine becomes a part of NATO all the NATO forces have to get involved in that war and that's World War Three. remember what Biden said this is last year February they asked him at a press conference they said, um, you know, Biden, um, are we going to get involved in the war? And he says, no, because that would be World War III. And he was 100% correct. That would be World War III. Give me a second.
Excuse me. Anyway, let me read some of these uh, this breaking news. One as of one hour ago, AP Associated Press, Finland joins NATO and major blow to Russia over Ukraine war. This is one step closer to the, uh, the war of Armageddon. Finland has joined uh, the NATO military alliance. Because remember, you have the EU, which is political, and then you have, that's one side of the beast, and then you have the other side of the beast, which is NATO, which is the, the, the uh, military part of the beast. The, um, the beast consists of the US, Canada, all the NATO nations, which there are now, I believe there's 30, if not 32, 30 nations, you can always look it up, and the EU nations. And then the um, Roman Catholic Church and the, and the, ba and the uh, baby churches that came out of the Roman Catholic Church, uh, they make up the uh, spiritual side of it, but it's mainly on a physical level. Because when you go to Revelation chapter 16, it speaks about uh, three unclean spirits, like frogs came out of the mouth of the dragon, out of the mouth, mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. The false prophet represents the political part of it. EU represents the, I mean, a religious part of it. The EU represents the political part of it. And the NATO represents the uh, military part of it. That's why you have an alliance with Russia, China, the BRIC nations. Then you want other, you have other nations wanting to join the BRIC nations and they'll, and they'll join. A lot of things are happening, man. A lot of things are happening. When you deal with these, uh, the so-called black conscience community and these other thoughts that come out of these other jakes out there with their political stance on something or their religious stance or go back to Africa, they really don't know what's going on. The only ones that know what's going on are really the top group is G GMS and then other groups that are part of One West. You know, the main thing we need to watch and speak on is these prophecies. And this is a major event. Finland joining NATO is a major event. Let me do something. Has NATO joined NATO? Is, has has fin Finland joined NATO? Finland officially becomes the 31st uh, member of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO. On Tuesday, today is Tuesday, the 4th, uh, marking a major shift in the security landscape in Northeastern Europe that adds some 1,000 or 1,300 kilometers or 830 miles, almost 1,000 miles to the alliance frontier with Russia. And the reason, if you go back into the history of NATO, NATO was pulled together after World War, during and after, really after World War II, going to the, the history of NATO. And it was uh, a group of nations that got together that if Russia attacked any of those NATO uh, nation or NATO members, that to attack one is to attack all. So, and like I said, you, the Ukraine wants to be a, a, a part of NATO, but they're not going to allow the, the Ukraine, excuse me, the Ukraine to... Uh, become a member because that's that's World War Three. That's World War Three. All of a sudden, if the Ukraine becomes a part of NATO, joins with NATO, that's that's 31 nations that would have to join into that war. And that would become that would become a nuclear war. And that's not going to happen yet. A major prophecy has to take place, which we always speak of, is the MOTB. But ultimately, these NATO and EU nations, they're going to come against the, the whore. Something's going to happen that's going to cause them to come against the whore. whore. So not only uh, Russia and the other allied nations of Russia will attack 
uh, the U.S., the uh, NATO nations and the EU nations will attack uh, the U.S. as well with fire, burn their flesh as it was was fire. So you know we're we're in the end of this thing. Uh, why is fin why is Finland joining NATO? Finland is Finland is Russia's immediate neighbor to the west. The two countries share about 800 miles of land border and Finland's membership in NATO will significantly bolster security on NATO's eastern flank. Why is Norway why is Norway not a member of NATO? Norway uh Nor Norwegian politicians believe that a Nordic pact when two nations come together in an agreement, a contract, a contract with two nations is called a pact, could only stand with military support from the United States and countries from Western Europe. Norway failed to reconcile this agreement with Sweden. And I believe Sweden is also a member, standing member of NATO, and remain unconvinced that the Nordic option would truly guarantee security. What has Russia said about Finland joining NATO? Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Paskov called Helsinki's move to join the bloc, which is NATO, an, encro an encroachment on Russia's security and said the structure of NATO was hostile towards Russia. I'm fighting words. See, everything that we do, we're the, watch, we're the watchmen for the most high, right? And we're the warning people. So we see things that's on the news, and then we filter it through the scriptures. Is Poland a part of NATO? And I, I believe they are. Matter of fact, I'm sure. NATO further expanded after the Cold War, adding the Czech Republic, Hungary, and Poland in 1999, Bulgaria, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Romania, uh, Sl Slav Slovakia, and Slaventia, and these, this, uh, so the, the prefix Slav means slave, Albania and Croatia, um, Cro Croatia, Croatia. in um, 2009, Montenegro in 2017, and North Macedonia in 2020. Why is, why is Mexico not in NATO? Because they're not an Edomite nation. Mexico is really a member of the Inter-American Mutual Assistance Treaty and Military Alliance of Latin American country signed in 1947, there was no major reason for Mexico to join NATO because its members would overlap or its membership would overlap. They're not a uh, part of it because they're not, that's not an Edomite nation. What two countries are waiting to join NATO? Russian invasion of Ukraine prompt Finland and Sweden to apply for NATO memberships. Because, see, once Russia's plan is once they take over Ukraine, and they're about to take it over, uh, they're going to go after uh, Finland and Sweden. 
because these are like maybe you got Poland, you got Finland, you got Sweden, which are member states. So once they, once they, you know, enter into Finland, that's that's uh, Armageddon right there. It said in May uh, 2022, and the uh, uh, ratification process uh, for the two countries is is in progress. So that was of not too many months ago, not even a year ago. So they recently applied, Finland and Sweden, Finland finally got in today. Uh, it says Ukraine applied for NATO membership in September of uh, 2022. Because of, why? Because of the war, because of Russia. And they, they have refused to allow them to be a member of NATO because you know what's going to happen. Russia claimed to annex part of its uh, territory. Annex mean, mean to take over the land. So it's getting hot. Getting hot. So now let me go to uh, a quick preset. Let me go to Daniel 2. Come on down to uh, okay. This is Rome. So now, when you go to Revelation thirteen, the first couple of verses, it speaks about the beast and one of the beast heads as it was wounded unto death, and the whole the beast came back to life. I'm merely paraphrasing. And that was the Roman Empire. So that Roman Empire consisted of all these European nations and provinces of other dark nations, which include Palestine or the land of Israel. So that's coming, these alliances are coming back together. Let me read, let me read, uh, let me just go ahead and read 40 to 43. And the fourth kingdom shall be strong as iron, for as much as iron breaketh in pieces and subdueth all things, and as iron, and, and, and as iron, excuse me, that breaketh all these, shall it break in pieces and bruise. That's the Roman Empire. If you go to any Christian scholar, if not all of them, most of them, 90% of them will tell you that that's talking about the ancient uh, Roman Empire, called the ancient pagan Roman Empire. It says, and whereas thou saw of the feet and toes, part of part is clay and part of iron, the kingdom shall be divided, but there shall be uh, in it of the strength of the iron for as much as thou saw the iron mixed with miry clay. And that's talking about now. This is talking about 2,000 years ago. 41 is talking about now. This is the rebirth of the Roman Empire. Now you had, uh, this is talking about EU and NATO. Remember, you have an economic political part of the beast and you have a military part of the beast. The U.S. and Canada are military parts of the beast. U.S. and Canada are not members of the EU. And in Great Britain, they left the um, the EU, but they're all, they're still a part of NATO. So that's what it means by part part iron and part miry clay. And that's uh, let me let me click on that. The word is kasap, pachir or clay, meaning weak. If you drop iron, it breaks whatever it falls on. If you drop uh, like a pot shed or something that's made out of clay, it breaks. It's weak. 
It's financially weak. And this is the reason why the UK broke from the EU, the political uh, economic part of the beast, but, not, but did not break away from the NATO part, which is the military part. So it says, uh, 42nd verse, and as the toes of the feet were part iron and part of clay, so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. 43rd verse, and whereas thou sawest iron mixed with miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men. And you have these other darker nations that are mingled with uh, these uh, European nations. And then you also have uh, among the elite, they marry among, the, um, among each other to join alliances on a, on a, on a bigger level. But that's not going to work. That's not going to help this uh, alliance. It said, but they shall not cleave one to another, even as iron is not mixed with clay. And this is why, like I said, this is why Great Britain broke off, because of economic reasons, not for uh, mil military reasons. The dividing, the dividing, the divine kingdom, it says, uh, okay, so I have to read 44 and 45. And in, and in the days of these kings, what kings? It's talking about right now, it's not talking about 2,000 years ago. From, from this verse, that's the Roman Empire, from 41 on down to 45, that's talking about the new Roman Empire, which the EU was brought together by a meeting called, what was it called, the Club of Rome. It was a bunch of Edomites with suits sitting around a big round table having a discussion on um, the EU. <laughs> 44 and 45. And in, and, in that, and in the days of these kings, which is now, shall the God, the Most High of Heaven, set up a kingdom. What is a kingdom? The kingdom are the Israelites. When you see us out there on the highways and the byways, you see us doing these videos, that's the kingdom of heaven being established, which shall never be destroyed because our kingdom is going to be an everlasting kingdom. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people, meaning this kingdom is only for the Israelites. But it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms kingdoms and it shall stand forever and who's going to break in pieces all these kingdoms our lord that's revelation 19 that's revelation 14 that's isaiah 13 that's that's jeremiah 50 jeremiah 49 jeremiah 51 uh second ezra's uh what is that second ezra's four, the 14 chapter For and now, a scholar. Now, if you check out these scholars, right, they'll say that this is talking about the pagan ancient Roman Empire 2000 years ago, but then they go off on, on this right here. We're talking about this is a jump from the 40th verse to the 41st verse, that's a jump of uh 2000 years into the future. For as much as thou saw that the stone was cut out of the mountain, and that's uh, second Ezra 14, because when Ezra saw the vision of the Lord, he thought he was actually on a mountain. 
Now in, uh, what is it, uh, Zechariah, we always go to Zechariah 5 and 1. You got to go to Zechariah 6 and read down. And it speaks about, matter of fact, let me go to that. Let me go to that and I'll come back. Open up another tab. Okay, Zechariah. Zechariah 6. Okay, it's actually in the first verse. The four chariots, which we know that they are ships. And I turned and lifted up mine eyes and looked, and behold, there came four chariots, ships out, out, out from between two mountains. What were these mountains? They were gigantic ships. These chariots were smaller ships, shuttle ships, so you can understand. The same vision, Isaiah saw the same vision in Isaiah chapter 6. He saw the, the father ship, which the Lord was in, and he saw shuttle ships with six wings. Two wings covered their face, two wings covered their feet, and with two they did fly. Those were planes, shuttle ships. So it says, chariots out from between the Three, between two mountains, two gigantic ships, and the mountains were mountains of what? Of brass. Let's see what the word brass, let's look up the word brass. Give me a second. Metal, copper, bronze, bronze. They're metal. So these, these ships are made out of a metal material. Now let's come back over here. So that stone that, that um, I, uh, Daniel saw was a mountain. For as much as thou saw the stone was cut out of the mountain. Wait a minute. For as much as thou saw the stone, which was a mountain, was cut out of the mountain. That's the same thing that Ezra said. I looked to see where, what region did he get that, what he cut, up, cut that mountain from. So that stone was a gigantic ship uh, without hands and that it, that it break in pieces and iron and they, and they were accompanied, the Lord was accompanied by the angels. The chief angel was Michael. The brass, the clay, the silver, and the gold because these Gold represents the Babylonians, which are Syrians. Silver, silver represents the Medio Persian Empire, which they're still living today. Then the Greeks are part of what? They're part of brass and they're part of the iron, because they all eat, the Greeks are Edomites and the Romans are Edomites. Great power have made known to, to the king what shall come to pass? What shall come to pass? What? We're talking 15. What are we talking about? Uh, I'm sorry. We're talking uh, 2000. We're talking um, about 2000, 2500, 2600 years in the future. And the dream is certain and the interpretation thereof sure. Anyway, I'm going to close and I'll come back. Shalom.